Sometimes after you've worked with the image, you might notice that the analysis mode or stack mode still has a few things left over. This could be particularly true if you didn't shoot enough photos or if somebody was really slow moving or standing still in the scene. So let me show you a little bit about cloning. To get great results, make a new empty layer and call it clone. Then choose the clone stamp tool from the toolbar and make sure the option of sample all layers is set. It's here in the drop down menu. Now I'll press command plus or control plus to zoom in and I'm looking for anything that's distracting. Now I don't see really too many things ghosted, but I do see a few things that are in the scene that I want to remove, such as this here. Holding down the option key, I can click to set my source point and then come over and clone that out. You'll see that the results went to its own layer, which makes it easier to control or catch a mistake if you make one. As we navigate through here, we can look for any other problems. For example, I don't like this one here as much, so I'll sample and just clone a little. And I'm looking for any instances of someone staying put. Now remember, I used a lens itself that had a built-in vignette effect, and that's blurring the edges a little bit, but surprisingly, that's pretty clean. I do see a little bit of trash here on the ground. So S for clone stamp, smaller brush, left bracket, option or alt click to set the source point, and then paint it in. And that works quite well. Remember, everything is on its own layer. So if you do too much, it's easy to grab the eraser tool with E and just remove that very easily to blend it back. Once you feel like you've gotten it, you'll notice that you have your cloned layer and the layer down below. You're now ready to move into final processing. 